Tenor deck. Tenor deck. Tenor deck. Tenor deck. Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to synchronize your Christmas lights to any song with just an Arduino and a few junk parts from old microwaves. Now before I show you the hardware and the actual Christmas lights synchronizing to music, I'm going to show you the schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram that I drew up for my whole Christmas light synchronization setup. So down here in the bottom, this is the power supply. This provides 12 volts for the relay coils and 7 volts for the Arduino. The power supply uses two voltage regulators and a 120 volt to 12 volt transformer. This box over here represents an Arduino with the ground and voltage in ports on the bottom and all the input output pins on the side. These are functioning in output setup right now. These input output pins go through 220 ohm resistors to the base of a transistor. I can't remember what this transistor is called but it's an NPN and it's very small. These transistors then let the 12 volts from the power supply flow through the relay coil and to ground. This flowing through the relay coil activates the relay switch to turn on the lights. Now to the actual hardware. So, these two pieces right here function as part of the power supply. Now over here I have the Arduino. I made custom fittings so I can have ribbon cable going into the pins of the Arduino. This is my relay board. I have 11 transistors and 11 resistors and 11 relays. I have two higher amperage relays to power the higher amperage Christmas light strands. Some of you may be asking how the Arduino is able to take the musical songs and, tra and translate them into electrical signals that can control the lights. Well, that's what this is right here. This consists of t two resistors and a capacitor. The audio signal flows in through a capacitor to pin zero. Pin zero has a 10 kilo ohm resistor going to 5 volts and a 10 kilo ohm resistor going to ground. This creates a voltage divider so the audio signal isn't too high for the Arduino. Now, how may the viewers listen to your songs? Well, that's where this FM transmitter comes in. I tried to build my own FM transmitter, but it didn't work too well. It broadcasted on all of the frequencies, at, and it didn't broadcast very far. So I got this FM transmitter from eBay for about a dollar, and this one works just fine transmitting it to the street so people can hear from their cars. Now coming back here, is the antenna that I use to broadcast. This antenna is about uh, two and a half feet tall. Now for the software that controls all these Christmas lights. So online I found a frequency identification software that runs on the Arduino and it serial prints the frequency that is being inputted. Now I took this code and I modified it so it would work for my own purposes. So if you scroll down here, past the original code, you can see the code that I added. What happens is if the frequency is between a certain number, so let's say this light is between 1 and 600 hertz, then it'll activate pin 9, or relay 9, or one of the Christmas light strands. Now all of these correspond with a different frequency value and a different Christmas light strand. So now, how all the Christmas lights are wired into this one box. So, the relay board, as you saw in the circuit diagram, has an input of 120 volts AC from the wall, and that live wire goes through all these wires to different Christmas light strands. This one wire is neutral, and it goes to each of the plugs neutrals. So, here's one of the plugs that I have set up. 
on this plug, as you can see on this side, this is the neutral side. So I have one input wire coming in and one input wire coming out. So I essentially have all of the outlets in series with the neutral. So now to the other side, I have my two input wires or hot wires going into the live side of the plug. Now this may not be the safest setup due to the exposed terminals for the live wire, but it works for now. Now to the part everybody's waiting for, the music to the lights. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.